In this video, I'm, I'm covering uh, how to set up a new Dell server from scratch. In this case, I'm going to install VMware on the physical server. It's a Dell PowerEdge 740. And uh, to start with, uh, I'm going to log in into the iDRAC. The iDRAC has been set up and I have access, remote access to the server using iDRAC. So first of all, I'm going to update the firmware. So from the lifecycle controller, just click on firmware update and click on launch firmware update. And I'm going to update it directly from the Dell website. So I'm going to leave the default selection and click next. On this screen, when you click next, it is going to give you a warning for proxy. Just hit yes. And it will start checking for the updates and packages. You may get a certificate warning. Just hit yes on this screen. So now it, it gives you the list of all the updates available. So I'm going to select all of them. And click on apply. Now it's going to download the packages and apply them and this is how it will show the progress so do not restart the server while the updates are getting installed so it is going to take some more time until it's complete and then we will move on the setup so after the firmware are installed I'm going to boot the server back in the lifecycle controller so from the iDRAC uh, under the boot options I am going to select lifecycle controller here and then I'm going to reboot it once again. So once the server is booted in lifecycle controller I'm going to configure rate and deploy an operating system. So I'm going to click on this option So we are going to configure RAID first. So in this case, uh, RAID 1 is already configured. But it is pretty simple if you have to do it to from scratch, you just select the RAID type. Um, usually it really doesn't matter a lot, but uh, I leave it default Windows RAID. And then uh, name the disk and then you can just um, click on next and it will ask you what the read level that you need and then in the next screen it will ask you to select the drives so this is what it is going to do and then uh, you just select the drives in the next screen and then you just finish it off I'm going to finish this off now we are going to attach a ISO so I'm going to click on connect virtual media and then <clears throat> I'm going to select the image file here and then click on map device and now the ISO has been attached now I'm going to select the operating system from this list here so as it does not have VMware we are just going to select any other operating system from the list and then I'm going to hit next on the next screen it is going to ask you what kind of installation it is going to be so in this case I'm going to uh, leave the default which is manual install and then I'm going to hit next and in the next screen it is going to ask you to select media so in our case it is going to be the virtual CD that we mapped earlier 
and in the next screen it is going to ask you to finish the wizard and reboot the system at the time of reboot it's going to boot using the ISO that we have attached so it's still booting so now the installer is started the system is now booting using the ISO that we attached earlier so we are going to let it run and it is fairly automated not going to ask you much input so we are going to just let it finish okay so the initial process is complete now we are going to uh, go through some of the prompts so I'm going to accept it Now it is going to ask you on which partition you need to install it. So I'm going to select the one that we created with RAID 1. Next it is going to ask you the keyboard layout. I'm going to select the default and then next it is going to ask you to set up the password. Now after entering the password I'm going to hit enter. And the setup process is continuing now. So it will give you a warning, just accept the warning and the final installation process will start for ESXi setup. So now our setup is complete and it is going to give you a warning that you need to disconnect. So now our setup is complete, it is going to give you a warning that you need to disconnect the media before rebooting it. So what we are going to do is we are going to click on virtual media and we are, we are going to disconnect the virtual media. So after it is disconnected I'm going to hit enter and going to reboot the server. Alright, the server is rebooted and now we are on the uh, login screen. So if you want to log in and uh, update the IPs, you can just do it by logging into the server by pressing F2. It is going to prompt you for the login. And then uh, once you are in, once you're logged in now you can uh, you can update the network IP and <clears throat> some of the other steps from here so that's pretty much of it so we have the ESX setup and in the same way you can set up rest of the operating systems like Red Hat um, Linux or Windows 